Why the Isle of Man? Uh, we're very inspired by the show Bergerac, which was a show made in the 80s set on Jersey. Jersey. Channel Island, and we, we were thinking about this show. We wanted a man, um, an actor, to get trapped on an island, basically. And we, we thought, um, we can't make it Jersey, so we need another island. And then the producers of the film said, why not the Isle of Man? Because there's very good tax incentives to film there. Yeah, it would be so, financially So we to... thought, uh, well, we'll have a look at that. We don't make any decisions based on money. And let's no. just say that we're artists. We're artists. We we, we, make we, we don't make any decisions based on that. But we, we looked at it based on googling. We somewhere. googled the Isle of Man because we'd forgotten about it. I'd, very, I'd forgotten it was there. Yeah, a lot of people have actually. It's not, um, on, it's not, it's on, not on certain maps. That's right. Yeah, it's fallen off some. Um, some of the large some others are some maps. of the bigger. <laughs> don't include it. But um, um, we we sort of looked at it and went, this has got everything and more that we need. And also, there's never been a TV show set. Or a detective show, which is what yeah. our film's about, a uh, detective show that was once set on this island. So yeah. the other man was perfect, and it looked like a strange, it's like a Wicker Man, yeah, quality to it, you know. Yeah, which yeah. Mind on has lots of similarities. Yeah, yeah. Man goes to an island and has a terrible time. Has a rough old time of it, and um, then doesn't die in a fire, in no. a burning effigy at the end. But he, he does have a rough time. Yeah. So in that in that way, it's similar. But um, he wrestles with himself and with yes. other people. Yes. Um, but the Isle of Man filled all, ticked all our boxes yeah. in terms of what we wanted. Uh -huh. um, it has a sort of faded grandeur. A trapped sort of, in time a little bit, sort of perhaps. Yeah, a bit like Richard's in the 80s. character. Um, Where did you come up with the power? The, the, the eye. The eye. The eye patch. Well, um, <clears throat> he originally had a nose that could smell the truth, Yeah, is what we originally thought. And, but the idea of this, the show where someone goes around sort of sniffing wasn't very mm. aesthetically pleasing. Um, and I look good in an eye patch. Julian, so, Julian can only really act with one eye. Um, well, so I, I can act good. with either eye. It's just that it's actually takes you've got to be twice as good as an actor to act with one <laughs> eye. Um, yes. Because you have to put all your emotions just through one eye, and really just punch yeah. it out of that eye. And the other eye, mm. you know, that's, so I found it quite difficult to yeah. uh, do at first. But then I managed to to develop a, a technique that allowed me to act with one eye. Which I patented, and um, you know, no one else is allowed to wear an eye patch now. <laughs> I think but, yeah. it feels as quotable as like Anchorman or something like that. What, what are your favourite lines to deliver? Uh, some, I quite like uh, Philly Boots. Got a nice one. Philly Boots. It's truth time. Are it's truth time. It um, it's truth o'clock. Um, um, truth is in the eye of the beholder. You, you don't say that. No, no but I, I like saying that. Were there um, others that you? You, you wrote, but then didn't make it into the movie. He says, uh, what's it like to face, a ki uh, to, to face the killer? She asked him, and he goes... Yeah, way. it was... Um, um, <laughs> oh, it was like looking into... Uh, into uh, <laughs> looking into an abyss. To abyss, cold, yeah. pure, heartless, evil. Uh, I've never seen such evil before, and I've worked with Ian McShane. <laughs> but we thought, <laughs> Ian, you know, we don't, you know, we don't, we know, don't know him. No. It was just made us laugh. It sounded funny, uh -huh. us, but we didn't use it in the end. What about the merch in Kestrel's lair? Uh, there is a mm -hmm. merchandise angle in this film if, uh, if people yeah. want to exploit that and want to buy tiny versions of me. Um, yeah, can, the, the art do. department had a real field day. It's a sort of gift to an art department. They just went, they, they took it and ran. We yeah. always had that sort of yeah. little cupboard of dreams scene where he's got a jigsaw and a... Mm. You know, all these old press cuttings and it's light just, on rulers and stuff. Yeah, it's nice to imagine the type of merchandise that would have got made in, yeah. in the day off, off the back of a show that was not quite as successful as Bergerac or Knight Rider or Six Million Dollar Man, yeah. but was just sort of small, poor man's Six Million Dollar Man, like a mm. six, 60 quid man. Six, six pound man. That, that, that merchandise would be, would be, you know, the equivalent merchandise, so it would be like... Mm. Sort of terrible things that we. I think I had a. Ber I think I had a um, Bergerac jigsaw, where you. But yeah. it wasn't his face. It was the. Uh, it of was, his face. It was Jersey. Just John Nettle's face. Three thousand <laughs> piece yeah, jigsaw. Three thousand pieces. <laughs> and I would get to know them and go, "Well, that's his pupil. That's his pupil. It's just <laughs> you a get to dot. know them. Yeah, <laughs> the jigsaw pieces. It's not that weird, is it? Um, is there going to be a sequel? Do you think? Um, uh, there might, be a, there it. might be a prequel. Be a prequel. prequel. But um, it's very hard to make the Isle of Man look like the 1980s. Mm. Yeah. That's a problem. You have to it's spend tough. a lot of money. Half the budget will be Updating sort of modernising it, it to, uh, yeah. <laughs> from, the, from, the, from the early 70s. <laughs> uh, no, it's obviously a bit of fun. We love uh, the Isle of Man. We, we had a good time the there. Place. 
And um, we'd love know, to if go they'd back. have us back, we'd go there, you know. Um, yeah, we, in, we a, did in a thrice. 